Ladies and gentlemen, I got a haircut. We are officially at the halfway point of the AFL 22 XX season. Let's throw the game off. Tampa Bay and Orlando. My bad. Tampa Bay and Jacksonville. It's not Orlando. I just did Tampa Bay Orlando. Uh, anyways. Is this a back to back? No, it's not a back to back. Okay. I was trying to make sure I wasn't recording the same team. I don't want to record the same team two weeks in a row except for the playoffs. Let me get that on there. That's probably not zoomed in enough. Yep. Okay, that's not the bestest of angle. Oh, crud. Uh, that's not. It's holding. it's holding. Okay. Jacksonville, Tampa. Let me play some music for it, <laughs> and and also get, and also some music. This is my my favorite CBS theme. Go back to it. Football. Here we go. Bingo. Start up as soon as I get the game to go. As soon as thing gets low, we'll listen to the music. Oh, oh crud, it's still not gonna hold. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna hold. Okay, good. Now, let us begin. We are halfway through the season. Both teams are six and one. Tampa's only loss came in week. Tampa's only loss came week two to Jacksonville in Jacksonville by a single point against the Sharks. And Tampa and Jacksonville's only loss came in week five against Albany, who Tampa Bay just beat in week seven. And week six to Albany, who Tampa Bay beat in week seven. Both two teams have been absolutely dominant throughout the year, winning by I mean, the exact same point differential. And no joke, being literally one point apart from each other. I'm not even kidding you. They scored the almost. They, they both have a plus 59 point differential, best in the league. At the first half of the year, both Tampa Bay is number one in turnovers. Jacksonville's number three when it comes to getting the point. Get the come to turnover differential. Jacksonville's are much better in the yard differential. Both teams have been very little, very minimal changes throughout the first half of the year. And well, let's kick this thing off. I assume they can find my remote. And oh, there it is. All right, Tampa Bay wins the wins the coin toss. Yeah. Alrighty. Here we are. Tampa Bay one week. By the way, Tampa. This is the third time these two teams have popped up on this, on this uh, thing. I was originally gonna make it Orlando New England, but I realized a I gave Orlando Michael Bishop when he just appeared in week seven. Same, I don't like doing the same quarterbacks back to back either if I can avoid it. Um, and that was a, that was a, a game between two, three, and four teams. This is two, six, and one teams. And by the way, there are two. There are still two week six games, week eight games that have not been simulated yet. And I asked so Tampa because I thought they were getting the ball. Oh wait, I forgot. I forget the default color is just blue, right? All right, it's because the default color is blue. Anyways, let's go over the. We have Mike Landry, Greg Krause, and AJ Bird up front for the for the Jacksonville Sharks. Uh, Greg Hopkins and Chad Dukes, the linebackers. The linebackers on Tampa for Jacksonville's defense, and now flitzing over to Tampa Bay's offense. The Tampa Bay's offense and the line. Quarterback Pat O'Hara, the middle of the road starter this year. You see Matt, receiver linebacker Lawrence Samuels, offensive specialist Jonathan Ordway, and receiver defensive back uh, 87, who was up from the, from the New Jersey Red Dogs. The first Tampa Bay, second Tampa Bay play is a pitch out to Samuels to the right side. I'm also introduced Jacksonville's uh, secondary men. We have the special. We had our their defensive specialists are, I believe. Oh gosh, I don't I actually don't remember. I actually don't, Jimmy Frizel. That's one of them because of Jacksonville's poor cabinet, poor, poor positional management. That's a fumble right there. That's Jacksonville ball in the first possession. The Sharks take over. The Sharks will take over. Hmm. Now I can show off Jacksonville's. Now I can show off some of Jacksonville's players. Let me send the volume up. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna play some music throughout the, throughout the whole thing. Why not? I, then I, I have a ton of music saved on my phone. You already saw some NFL. Let me pick. Let me find another track. Uh, let me pick a series. Let me find a good. Kind of fits this football yeah, atmosphere. It's not actually football. And Pat, uh, Steve Smith, by the way, not unrelated to the uh, Carolina Panthers. Steve Smith, who was in the NFL. That is Steve, or, or the new giant Steve Smith. That's the really Steve Smith who was on the. I forgot who was on that year. I don't think it was. No, it wasn't New Orleans. It was. Oh, Kansas City, right? Kansas City. That's what he was with. And that's John Dutton, the cover boy. Greg Hopkins, of course. There's Antonio. There's Steve Smith and T.T. Tolliver, who's been. It was in Tampa, the 20XX. 
and uh, and actually made the play that pretty much sealed up Tampa Bay's win at 20XX. And there's Tolliver with a beautiful catch. Speaking of Tolliver, uh, that's going to be a that's a Utah for Jacksonville. Mm. What was I? I lost my place. Wow, that was a good catch. I can't. Re I, can't I forgot to do the replay on it. Oh, yeah, Don Dutton, the cover boy of Arena Football 06. Is this game full of coin good? Yeah, I trust it. Oh, it's high up as heck. Ew. Ew, that's not good. Stupid phone thingy. Okay, let's try this again. No, 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 no. Sorry, just gotta adjust my camera. Maybe I need some more support than just, a, just this little hinge. Oh, dear. So I start fidgeting with the... There! Nope. Sorry for that. I know this is kind of odd to see just the camera flickering, but I don't have a capture card as much as, as, as y'all recommended before. I don't have one. No idea where to get one. Like, actually, I know the answer to eBay, but I don't have enough money to get one, so. Yeah, I know they get them for cheap, but. Yeah. Nope. 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 So much nope. Mm. Come on. Ugh. This is turning disastrous. It's sticking. Wait, is it recording? Oh, it's recording my ceiling. Wait. Oh no, it's actually getting it. It's actually getting near mine. Going on to going on back to where was I? I'm oh, sorry, I completely lost track of what I was doing. Let's go back to Tampa. Let's go back to Ball Back to Tampa. Look at some music that kind of fits. It's not too over the top, but does definitely fit a football-y theme. That's not football music. That's nice. Yeah, I used it before. Why not? Yeah, this is Planet Mega Man 6. I used it once before my, uh, on a football highlight video I did for the Columbus, for the 2018, uh, Lions. Oh, it was the first, uh, yeah, the first Cobras at Lions game in which the Cobras got up, which the Cobras led with 20, 30 seconds to go, up by 10, but they lost to, to two late touchdowns. Anyways, that passed the fastest player in the Arena League, J Jonathan Orway. Touchdown right there from Pat O'Hare, who, by the way, was not, he technically was not in the, these games roster, but he was a third, an emergency quarterback for the 2006 Tampa Bay Storm and did serve as their backup. But another fact about Tampa Bay Storm, that was the first Tampa Bay Storm team to ever miss the playoffs. I know it's kind of a weird thing to bring up, but yeah. That was the first Tampa Bay Storm team to ever miss the playoffs. Oh, and that's horribly tilted. Stick with me here, baby. But baby, I need my phone. No, that's too high. That's great. I'm gonna waste this entire music track. Mm. Darn thing's not holding. Oh, I hate this tight block I have to do every time I want to play this thing. Stupid little tight book recording setup. I hate this. I'm sure of recording, I'm actually like, leaving the CPU for the game, so I'm to hold my hands again, which that worked great last time. Ugh. And this is the good halfway point of the year, so... I'll stick with it. I'll stick with it. Anyways. This is lovely. I'm gonna pause the music here. I have no... Ugh. Lovely. Wait, my tie fell out. Oh, and they're playing the game. Uh, Kenny's at the ball. The pass over to Smith, and Smith got it on a 30-yard pass, and I missed that 30-yard pass. Thankfully, it was not a touchdown. That's my hand. We're still in the first, by the way. If I can just set the recording up. Mm. Oh, Ty, can help. No, you're not helping Ty. You're in the way. The Ty is... Good. Yay. Let's hope it kind of gets some of the screen up. Let's check it at halftime. Actually, I'm check right now with my sitting down. No, that, that, that doesn't look too terrible. Yay, it doesn't look too terrible. Um, 
What was that? Oh, yeah, I forgot Jacksonville. <laughs> uh, these recordings are a mess, and the house smells like mac and cheese. By the way, I hate mac and cheese. Just thought I'd mention that. I, I cannot stand mac and cheese. Oh, touchdown, touchdown Smith. Mm. Mm. God. Back Tampa. What about Buckers? <laughs> <laughs> I, attempt, I always attempt to do something off actual broadcast, and then just re revolves into dumb stuff, like me pulling my butt hurting because of the itchy chair fabric or whatever. Yeah. The extra point will be good from, ooh, <laughs> the net kind of good, from a, uh, from a, uh, oh gosh, I'm sorry, uh, Brian Schmitz, who, but no, Brian Schmitz was not that kicker in 20 That was Mark Lewis who kicked for two teams in 20XX, Las Vegas and Jacksonville. But yeah, we've had 27 teams total in, in this in these uh, Sim series, and that's the way on the nice return right there again, but about the 15, 16? Oh, I remember why I haven't heard the I think. Sorry, I... There, you can you can actually hear it perfect. Again, like I said though, if you if you want to see this game, this play right here, see orderly right there, number right here. Simply run a deep. Oh, I actually have right there because he gets a. Little... Oh, that. Was... <laughs> That's why I never use be the receiver. I have no idea. I have one to time the Y button press to catch the ball. But I hate I hate be the receiver. It's a neat feature, but it just doesn't. I just don't like using it. Well, again, it is a very neat, I will fully admit it's a neat feature. That's incomplete. Oh, my back. Okay, I'm going to lay down for this. Whew. That'll be the end of the first quarter. Tampa Bay leads. Ugh, this reminds me of the first time I actually recorded a video. <laughs> I guess a bit of a funny story. Uh, do I have any Sock 2 music on my... Actually... I think I, 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 do, I do some talk to music on my phone. Perfect. I'll play that and go over my little story of the first time I've recorded a video. Let me find it. Yeah, let me find Actually, I know exactly what to play. So this is a bit of a funny... Sorry for myself. So the first time I recorded, I was like 10 years old. And I, and I was, not 10. 10? <laughs> Plus, I would have been 11. And I had heard of this thing called, this magical thing called online video. And, I, and for Christmas that year, I thought, I'm going to get me a flip share. By the way, it's a camcorder that records about this. It was a camcorder that at the time cost like 300 bucks. It recorded the exact same quality you're seeing right now on my phone from 2013. So, not exactly the most highest of tech going on with the, uh, going on with that, with that 2008 flip video recorder. Ooh, it feels good to lay down. What's that nice setup? Anyways, as I was saying... Um, oh, that's a bad kick right there from Tampa. Hmm. I gotta say, a full laundry hamper makes a nice pillow. By the way, it's clean. I'm just too lazy to. I'm just too lazy to actually, you know, hang my clothes up and clean my darn room. All right, let's go. By the way, this is the T Lopes version of Hilda. Anyway, what I was saying. Oh, the first one I recorded was a Sonic 2 Let's Play. However, because I was trash of the game, I recorded a on a camcorder. B, I had no idea how to zoom in the camcorder, so for the most part, you were just seeing my back. Literally, the most part, you could barely like game was there. I was recording on the 2008 version. Oh, let me switch back to, let me switch back to Jacksonville. I forgot this is even this is a Tampa home game. I'm still be playing as Jacksonville's offense. Anyway, other thing. The like, Jacksonville front line up the one inch line right now. As I was saying, um, that's gonna be way complete. Oh, not Smith's fast enough. Touchdown. Touchdown, 49 yards from, from goal to goal. And by the way, I never enter the name. It never saves anything. That was a beautiful pass, though, from literally from end zone to end zone, 49 yards from uh, Dutton to Smith. And as I was saying, back to my song. So I recorded a song to let's play with a camcorder. However, I go back the game. I use it a bug mode code and the um and level sl and supersonic because I was terrible at the game. I I might I might actually record a song to let's play someday because I do have recording software and like a million. Sonic Genesis ROMs and Sonic 2 hacks, so maybe I could do that, although I do want to make, if I ever record a video game footage, other than this, like a standard Let's Play, I want to be Sonic Adventure 1. Oh, that's the order by, ooh, and he got blocked between two animations, so. Alright. 
I think that's enough of that. Yeah, first and 10 at the 17-yard line for Tampa Bay with number 17, Pat O'Hara, at quarterback. Sorry, to find another option. A pass to Samuel on the back fly, and Lawrence Samuel should be able to just run the, rumble this thing into the end zone, and he clipped to the wall for a second. But one thing, one neat touch I love the fact that they do in this game, although it's small, but the PA announcer, they actually have two, they have them say two different lines. One for one for the home team touchdown, one for a road team touchdown. That's just a neat little feature. Since they don't, since they only, just, since they don't actually have like a regular announcer, they just keep in the PA announcer they had in the PS2 era, slash, uh, yeah, in the PS2 era, slash, um, Xbox, uh, college football, and Madden games. So they just use that guy as the announcer. And have him record some lines for players. Something that, I don't think he even says a lot of the name of the players. Hey, like, like, like you're not gonna hear the guy say T.T. Tolliver or Lawrence Samuels. You're just gonna hear him say touchdown storm and touchdown Tampa Bay, but they won't say they won't say like touchdown Lawrence Samuel or something like that. Or they won't make some random comment about that was a great sack by Pearson. Which much can do them this play. Like they're not gonna make some random comment like that. Like even the same kind of thing you would see on um on the same Matt on the same Madden games there back when John Madden was actually, you know, commentating in them. <laughs> uh, so. Alright, Dutton job bat. Got throw deep Oliver. And uh knocked away by Red Dogs by uh, Red Dogs WR eighty seven. But how did I make that guy? I literally custom created a player, just used a generic high, generic weight, um, and then just like caught, like really went into here. I'll show, I'll show you. I think I can do it here. Okay, I'll do it in the next play, but I'll show what I mean. Using my trusty technology, which I, which you will love, which you will oh so love, my trusty writing technology. I want. I think I spoiled it. Actually, let's, let's go back. So, let's say I want to create a custom player. Since obviously you can't like edit the players like the historic and the fake and the historic team, so what I would do is I literally went over there and would copy paste his speed and just get an index card and like literally write down the player's stats on an index card and then put him into a custom player. That's all I would do. Also, I don't know if they imagine the same era did this, but when a player got when a, as a player got one more tire, their stats just went down. I don't know if they did that in, other, in like other EA football games. It just, just it wasn't like oh the guy has a stamina bar and the guy's actually getting worse. I don't know. Just, just, the guy's like actually getting worse than that. It was a nice pass to Smith over the middle, and now to give it to the second all-time Arena League leading rusher, Chad Dukes. All-time, by the way, is of course Derek Ross, who was the most famous play, one, who was the last player from the Arena League Jacksonville Sharks to be on the NAL, the National Arena League Jacksonville Sharks. By the way, by Arena League, I just mean like Arena Football. The one this game actually facing here. Let me, let me go into what I mean by that. You see that AFL right there with the guy and the, with the little shield and the blue guy throwing the football, hiding behind the red thingy? That 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 AFL. That was the... Derek Ross was the last player from the Jacksonville Sharks when they were in the AFL to be um, on the NAL's version of the Jacksonville Sharks as he left the team after the 2018 season and his 10th season of um, indoor football, which is pretty impressive for a running back. And fullbacks are in the, in the NAL are basically, in the NAL really basically this fat guy you can run, who's a, a little skinnier than the other, who's a little skinnier than the other fat guys, and a little faster than the other fat guys, but he's still just a fat guy. Whose job is just stay there, and stop the other team's fat guy who's a little less smaller, who's a little less fat than the other fat guys. Okay, the, the, see, the little, Jad Dukes is a little less fat guy. Actually, I'll show it off in this play right here. Shock on me. Chad Dukes is the little less fat guy, but like Burt, Krauss, and Landry are the bigger fat guys. And Pearson, 98 for Tampa, his job is just stop Dukes from sacking, uh, from sacking hey, oh, Harrison. He did very, very poorly in that play. Now it's Tampa Bay's ball, second down and deep. Tampa Bay is now backed up to a second and 16 on their own five. However, this one play should instantly break it. By the way, yes, I do show play art because I don't really care. And, oh, oh, and I called the wrong play. I didn't even notice I called the running play. I just went straight to the... I just immediately did play with the, with the show play art. And I noticed the play art said... So it showed uh, Ordway right there running a big bomb. So, okay, I'll order one a big bomb. And, and I realized 
It didn't change because I'm using a running play. Let's go back to this. Play. Now that that's a play. Let's call that. That's a complete. Yeah, I got to play like three times. Like it's, see, that's the thing. So you play the games I have. You can just tell them the second you hit the let go. The second you hit the pass button, whether it's incomplete or complete. You can just kind of tell. Like I guess you can get the other sports games too, but it's not as it's not as noticeable. And this is going to be a long, long kick. I think this is would be like a 65 yarder in real life. I don't know. But it, well, I had the leg. But actually, no nope, short and no leg. But Pearson knocks Smith down inside the five. All right, right, this is the this is the first half. So the Tampa, this is Tampa the home team's home playing is Tampa Bay with defense in the final minute. And I'll make up to Jacksonville by I don't know. Just give him the first defensive drive of Tampa since. Well, that's not normally what I do because I just thought I know, like, with how I had Jacksonville, they are safety, safety, safety right there. As I was saying, like, like, like when I get to the second half, I'm going to have Jacksonville's uh, full time. I'm just going to let Jacksonville the entire first drive make up for all those play those playing as Tampa Bay's defense when it wasn't supposed to. Yeah. But again, I do this 91 times this year. This is, this is game 46 out of 91. And that was a nice rumble by a. Also from the Red, also from the Jersey Red Dogs offensive guard, flush left end number ninety four. He was the, he had not put I put him on Dallas twenty one X and twenty one XX, but because it's twenty two XX and I'm twenty two years old, I slapped him in on Tampa. Also, I'm starting the season way, way earlier now than I did before. That's gonna be and, and Red Dogs and or Sarah Archie defensive back eighty seven dropped the ball. Unfortunately, I would I would have the slash thing in their name, but I can't do that in this for the creative player, so I just said forget it. Yeah, ball's in the seven yard line. Yeah. All right, it's 21 seconds left to go in the half. Tampa Bay's looking, looking to tie it up again. And they do! Tampa Bay ties it up right through the, with that pass right through the needle. Oh, and Tampa Bay will also be taking a little oh, right. The safety. Yeah. I'll run the ball. I'll go for the two pointer. <laughs> I didn't go with the other with the quarterback boot two pointer because O'Hara is slow. This will be the last play of the first half, so will Tampa Bay go up by a field goal or will they stay up by a point? Let's see. The handoff to Pearson. Oh, good blocking. Sharon Pearson, who actually was the first, uh, actually not the first, he was from the University of South Florida, one of the first. He made the 2005 uh, Oakland Raiders practice squad, never and got a couple tackles in preseason, but never stayed on the regular roster. Um, and then, so then he, uh, what was I saying? And then he got to the uh, Utah Blazers practice roster, but never actually won anything. Now to pause this video, hope the recording wasn't too terrible, and, uh, yep, of course it was terrible. Alright. That's my hand. All right, me fidgeting with the camera aside. Welcome back. All right, Tampa Bay took a 31-28 lead on Jacksonville as we enter the second half of this game. I should mention the uh, I should mention go around the go around the league and mention the other finals. Uh, Nick Davila in his first start for the Arizona Rattlers. I know he's not in this game, another custom player, but he would have actually been old enough to be in the league at this time because I guess the only rule for being in the league back then was B18. So there's that. But um. I put him on the rat. I put him on the Rattlers. Had made a bunch of trades. Tampa Bay and Jackson were basically unaffected. I literally the only trade I made was a. Uh, I sent Lawrence Samuels back up to Grand Rapids in exchange for a backup who was who got a touchdown for a Grand Rapids during the year and was one speed point faster, but was overall like the same overall rating. And that should not have been blitz. I forgot about that. Well, that's well, that's Smith. Uh, I'll get back. There we go. Jackson will start with the ball in the second half after my accidental blitz with Lawrence Samuels. That would have actually been a penalty in the uh, had I blown town penalties on because you're not supposed to blitz with the Mac. You're not supposed to blitz with the Jack linebacker. The Jack linebacker being the linebacker also receiver, so it'd be Hopkins right there. What's the yeah, it's just a drag. You can do that. Not. Oh, if you want that route, you can. That's a very easy route to pull off. Pull in, then pull out quickly and un and very and unrobotically, and that and that is uh, a very easy guarantee. Let me do it again. Next, we're doing the exact same basic route. I go in, then out. Pull in, then out. And that was terrible because I was, you know, not looking at the ball and the 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 jump, the catch and the catch button was default the default jump animation. 
rather than the actual animation by matching Y, I also did a uh, reset the place. Let's just move that side. That was terrible. <laughs> I thought he was going to angle the ball more to, to, the, to the Hopkins, but again, Jerome Pearson couldn't catch, so whatever. Uh, I'll go with this. I'll go with this while I'm messing around. I'll, try, I'll give Jacksonville uh, another chance here. Maybe I shouldn't have, because it's not exactly... Uh, Slings it so Dutton side arms it side arms at Steve Smith, and that is a touchdown for Jacksonville. They will now take the lead and to make up for all of those five or six or whatever plays I was playing as Tampa one as opposed to because I wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna be playing as Jacksonville's defense. Got the eight, the side arm, the side arm pass on fourth down. By the way, that is an option in this game. You can make a quarterback a side armor or a over armor. Most quarterbacks are over armors, but I think Nagy uh, as in Mate Nagy, the current coach of the Chicago Bears. Uh, uh, Dutton, the cover boy, who you see here. And I believe, um, oh, I thought that was one more. No, it's not stacked. I forgot who the other one is, but they're, they're, they actually throw the ball side armor when they get covered. So, But normally they're throw the ball over the arm rather than just try to side arm it. And honestly, I think side arming is actually better than over arming in this game. And by like, throwing the ball like sideways versus overhead. That's what I mean. They'll. They, 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 Obviously, in real life, when we go ball overhead, it's more consistent spiral, but if you can, though, it's side arm, you might as well. I think nobody in the NFL intentionally does that, except for, well, nobody in the NFL currently. Last quarterback I think intentionally did that was, like, Sonny Jurgensen for the Redskins before the American Football League NFL merger. Jeez, that's a long time, that's a, that's a long time ago. By the way, the NFL's had 50 years since the merger. They've been half merger, half on merger. Kind of crazy to think about. Anyways, like I said, I'm boy, playing Jackson's defense to make up for all the first half times I played for Tampa Bay's defense that was not within the last minute of the first half. Another blitz that should stop Tampa Bay short in their tracks. This was Jackson up with a big advantage here heading into the second, heading into their next possession. Oh, Tampa's going to go for it. There. Tampa is going to go for it. I'll use EJ Bird. I'll go Tampa Bay. I'll the corners up. Because see if he's going to figure out you can just have your fast guy. Run over the top. It did not matter. That did not matter. As Tampa, as Jerome Pearson got the first with enough, got just enough, got the one or two yards necessary to get that first down. Landry was on. Oh, by the way, Landry was on 21 XX Dallas. Yeah, Landry on Dallas. Go figure. It was Mike Landry though, not. Oh, that's a pick. That was a bad pass by uh, the CPU. Straight to jump. Straight to Greg Hopkins. That kid. Let's Jackson will retain, get the ball back, and get a chance for more leads. Thirty yards to go for Jacksonville. Pass down to Smith. Yep. Steve Smith has over 180 yards. He's definitely a lead contender for getting that uh, player of the game nod. Although Dukes the outside, and he is in. Touchdown, Chad Dukes. That, that extends Jacksonville's lead by 10 points, which may become 11, pending this extra point. But anyway, as I mentioned, Jacksonville was, they were the best team in the 20XX for this, going 11-3. However, 11-2 entering the last week of the game. So entering the last week of the year, uh, this, this play situation for Tampa Bay and Jacksonville was simple. If Jacksonville was able to come into Tampa and beat Tampa, they were the number one overall seed at 12 and 2. If Tampa Bay was able to beat Jacksonville, they would be the number two seed at 11 and 3, sending Jacksonville to the wild card round at five or they nine and an 11 and 3 record. Tampa Bay beat Jacksonville. And Tampa Bay beat Tampa Bay beat Jacksonville to a last second catch by T.T. Tolliver, sending Jacksonville to the divisional round, sending Jacksonville to the wild card round. Tampa Bay got the bye. And eventually, Tampa Bay got to the got to the semifinals before losing to uh, Arizona. Over twenty one XX. Well, Jackson wasn't there, but nine and five Tampa was it managed to win it all. Managed to win the Arena Bowl after three after two road wins, one by AOI being New England Sea Wolves, who Jacksonville actually lost to in twenty in the twenty XX divisional round. Even though they should have been at home, but Jet Tampa Bay had the better rising complete, or not? Beautiful catch. Let's actually let's do this every play. Let's do this every play on that beautiful diving catch. O'Hara throws it back. And the Superman lunge, uh, Superman lunge right there by 87 by uh, Red Dogs. Mm. Excuse me. Wide receiver, defensive back, Red Dogs number 87. Uh, 
to get that to get that nice pass. By the way, Tampa Bay actually beat the Red Dogs in the twenty X twenty one XX divisional round, which should have been Jacksonville against Arizona, because Jacksonville would have been the number one seed had Tampa Bay not gotten that last second pass. And Tampa Bay is now only down by four to come back on Jacksonville. And if I can say that, like so far, Jacksonville, Tampa Bay, both teams are six and one. Tampa Bay is, a, I believe, they're actually. It's five point different. Tampa Bay has scored four points less than Jacksonville, but they've allowed four points less than Jacksonville. With Tampa Bay's strength being forcing the turnover. They were the best in the league at forcing turnover, forcing 16 turnovers in the first, in the first half of the year. Where Jacksonville was kind of in the middle of the pack, with, but they were pretty good at not giving up many turnovers. Having only given up seven turnovers to Tampa Bay's eight, Whereas, uh, let me go back to Jacksonville. I'm actually going to call time on Tampa. Because now Jack and Jacksonville's offense again. We're at the what, 32 48. That's a great game. It's exactly what you expect of the, two, the top two teams in the league. Both teams were 6 and 1. Tampa Bay's defending champions. You've already seen them win twice if you've been watching the videos. Uh, Tampa Bay has been. Jacksonville won twice if you've been watching the videos. They beat New England back in week one. Tampa Bay beat Grand Rapids in week one. Uh, that's a catch by Hopkins, by the way. And um, Jack, Tam, Jacksonville beat. Excuse me, Jacksonville beat Columbus in week four. Holy cow, John Dunn's being accurate. I never know how accurate quarterbacks are. I'm just surprised with over 50%. And Tampa Bay beat Orlando in week seven before week six. And Tolliver dropped the pass. It's one thing T.T. Tolliver struggles with has been drops. By the way, fun fact about T.T. Tolliver, he's been in three different, he's been in all three Florida teams. Tampa Bay in 20XX, Orlando in 21XX, and now Jacksonville in 22XX. And that was a deflective by, down by 87. He could have intercepted, but he didn't swarm with the ball quite fast enough to get that pick. Smith over the middle. No, no initial coverage. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. That is, you know, four, not Tampa Bay. <laughs> Touchdown, Jacksonville. Bad defense by Tampa. That's what I was trying to say. And now Jackson will go up by 11, and barring any big turnovers, this should pretty much be the way the game goes. I'm not, I mean, I don't really see much of an onside kick advantage going on. Hmm. A lot of, I got a lot of spit in my throat today. As you come up back and forth, Tampa's going to have to go for an onside or, or force a turnover if they really want to keep this thing going. And I don't think, you know, Jacksonville has yet to be, Jacksonville has yet to be stopped on defense. So every single one of Jacksonville's drives has been a touchdown. Away from inside his own end zone and gets about the five yard line. By the way, touchback with the five, so it's actually pretty good to get touchbacks. When if, if this was big by NFL, a touchback with the uh, ten, not the five, but they wanted ensuring more kickoffs. They put the touchback at the five. O'Hara to pass it to Red Dog. He's got the pass down to about the down about the twenty four yard line. Yeah, I'll, I'll run play. I haven't done a run play in a while. Red Dogs, uh, defensive back, 87 is also been pretty good so far. They have left Pearson. Pearson's open. Pearson bounces on a tackle of Sharon Pearson. Dumb as a box of rocks, but fast, but really fast, really strong. It's all you really need. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. On the on the on the quick run off the side, 45 to 49 is what Tampa Bay leads. I mean, it's what Jacksonville leads. Sorry. What Jacksonville leads, and again, Tam had, if Tampa Bay, if Tampa Bay loses, they would automatically lose any tiebreaker with the Sharks, seeing as the two teams met up in Week Two, Week Three, and they'll meet again in Week Thirteen. And that's by the way Week Eight. But again, three time, as a vision for they meet up three times. Close. Jacksonville's just been better getting yards, but been really, really close. And something I realized by when I count up all the yard stats, yards like the least meaningful stat. Oh. <laughs> they were all trying to match the trigger button because he, he just like he just like hopped over all the oh, like he practically the entire Tampa Bay defensive line. Sack attempt, sack attempt, sack attempt, fail. And also that also sacks count against the passing total for this, and fumbles count against the rushing total. Just thought I should mention that. Dukes try to get something going, gets about gets negative two. 
Alright, I'm just gonna go. It's kind of a dumb play to call, but whatever. Actually, yeah, I'll call Loop Shake. I'll call Loop Shake. Loop Shake is by far the best with a single route. And as number 17 T tell I've run in. I can't run this route like I could, but this is like the only route that, that like the C like always mess up the CPU. Call as soon as that happens, as soon as I cut back in, immediately uh, pass it in. Like I will show you how you want to exploit this play. Okay, so right here. That's what I mean. Oh. Okay. Okay. From the beginning of the game, watch this. From the very point, because the coverage is right here, it's designed to program as soon as 87 goes cut and cut with Teach Tell with, with 17. As, I'm gonna be, the second he makes this cut, right here, the second this cut is made, you want to hammer that ball in immediately. And for and try to, if you can, angle it, like when you hit your thumbstick, away from the defender. Easy break, every sing, easy catch, every single time. By the way, Jackson now going to be up 56 to 45, pending the extra point. I just want to show that playoff. Oh, it's not, and of course, it's not recording anything. Well, lovely. I'm going to get a lower angle for that. Maybe I can use the floor for the next game. Who knows? Well, that would kind of make it really daunting. I do not know. I do not know. I'll put that for the next game. I'm kind of like this lay down set up. Rumbling on the floor instead of sitting in that black chair you sit in when I play this. Mm, I love that black chair. Really, funny how this office chair. Uh, my mom's. So this office chair again. I mentioned this office chair. Uh, well, the office chair I usually sit in. Uh, I've had that office. My family's had the office chair since I was like probably two or three. We even moved her from the old house, and mom had. And my mom had her in her craft room, which had all of her stitching stuff. And I always wanted that chair. So when I got the opportunity, bam! I snatched it up when I was like fifteen or sixteen. My mom. My mom turned that craft room into a bedroom. I immediately snatched it up and brought it in my room. I love that chair. It's a great desk chair. And more, it's funny thing, I only use it for what's supposed to be used for, like a desk. I use it for, I use it for playing video games. And so, like most, like when I was a kid, I had that weird, like that weird, like black U chair thing, which I was really comfortable. I might want to get one of those again, but nah. Oh wait, why am I playing this Jackson? Wait, why am I playing this Tampa Bay's defense? I'm playing Tampa Bay's offense because, yeah. No. I guess it didn't go. Nope, I was trying to like mash the timeout button. Just to, just to make a little like small punishment thing. Anyways, oh, my gosh, as soon as I see that, as soon as I see the defensive lineman straight up, uh, as soon as I see the cornerbacks right in the line of scrimmage, I immediately change the route to have the offensive specialist go on a straight bomb, which I wasn't able to run because I forgot how close was the one minute warning. Tampa Bay is down by, down by 11 to Jacksonville during the final minute. However, they do have the ball here. The bomb to the end zone, I think it's away. Tipped away and intercepted. Jimmy Friesel was actually on 20 after Orlando as their offensive specialist catches this ball and not and goes and goes down to about the um gets to about the one yard line. Our Tampa is gonna force something. Jimmy Friesel, he has really done a lot. He's just gonna be pretty consistent. Uh, he is gonna be definitely be player of the game. Pearson's got to force something here. Duke's held onto the ball despite Lawrence Tampa's big hit. As Jacksonville should probably run the clock out. Tampa is gonna have to use their last time out there. Again, Tampa Bay has almost no chance of winning this thing. Jacksonville should go, be able to go seven and one and take a huge lead on the six and two Tampa Bay Storm. And the other six and two team, by the way, is Albany, who beat. Uh, it's not San Jose. Oh, Dukes is Dukes is open. Red Dogs eighty-seven catches him, but that, that that's too late. It's too late at that point. You just got a bunch of rushing yards. So it's probably, this is probably the final score. I cannot stop the time as Tampa Bay, nor will I switch to Jacksonville to automatically stop the time. So I'm just gonna let this thing go. Oh, well, that will stop the time. Again, the CPU should have just waited until like the, until they got that play clock in like one or two seconds. But of course, that'd be boring for the player, so the CPU does not do that to make it more fun for the player, even if they are down as I am in this case. But again, to Jacksonville, they had they have a tiebreaker against Tampa. Uh, I should mention the other finals. Orlando beat uh, Orlando just beat uh, New England and beat New England to get to grab the four seed in the American Conference. Dutton's gonna give it a yard or two here. Um. To move that up, Albany they move up to six and two by after beating San Jose to open week to open week eight, and um, and the other game I mentioned Arizona lost to Columbus in the Western in the uh, National Conference. With well, the other games being played between three and four Spokane and three and four Chicago, uh, in the in the National Conference and four and three Grand Rapids, the only team in the National Conference with a, with a winning record, will play again plays against two and five Pittsburgh who has the lose. Who is the worst team in the American Conference? 
Oh, and actually, press hold me down once. This should be the last play, though. Yes? I just love my parents. My dad made dinner. That's what I thought now was. <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Okay. My bum bum hurts. Alright, or wait, it's kickoff, and this will be the last play of the game. So final score will be. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Let me maybe just get a couple of things first. The final score is 56 to is 45 to 59. Jacksonville wins. Uh, where is my phone? Dun 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 bum 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 So with that, Tampa Bay is beating J Jacksonville is beating Tampa Bay, forcing three storm turnovers. But if you can't see a scoring by quarter, it is Jacksonville 14. Jacksonville scored 14 every quarter except for the fourth, and they scored 17. Tampa Bay had their big burst in the second, and that was it. 45 to 59 will be the final. Your player of the game will be John Dutton, definitely. Oh, and, and C. Smith, two player of the game. There you go. Nope, that's it. So, John Dutton's player of the game, thank you for watching.